You probably saw this house model from the movie Up. I built it 14 years ago, and it reignited my model-making passion. This tiny version also kick-started my engagement ring box collection. It's time to make it better and fix my previous mistakes, the biggest one being not recording the process. And this model also has a practical use you will discover at the end of this video. My previous versions were laser cut and assembled with flat elements. Now I have to model every piece digitally from scratch so I can 3D print it. I use an old version of Google SketchUp that I learned when working as an architect. I split the building into elements so that layer lines will help create a wood grain texture. Printing all the parts took some serious time on my old machine, which screams for an upgrade. The biggest element took 27 hours on the printer, but nothing took as much time as the ultimate DIY therapy smoothing out stress with every stroke, one grit at a time. Sanding. Fortunately, on this model, parts don't have to be super smooth. I even use 80 grit sandpaper to create random scratches in the wood grain direction. I speed up the process with machines where I can, but most of the work needs to be done with sanding sticks and files. The most time consuming was roof and sections with small shingles because I modeled those details with a different thickness to differentiate them from each other, but I still had to add additional lines with the knife. I use oscillating multi-tool for hard to reach areas. I stuck sandpaper with double-sided tape on a small saw attachment. That probably saved me a few hours on all the roof sections. Time to merge them with methylene chloride. That's the adhesive which melts and welds PLA plastic. Just paint the joint with it and let it flow into cavities. It fits. I can't wait to see the results of my sanding, so I quickly painted the roof with Vallejo German red-brown primer. This will allow me to see any imperfections and correct the texture with more scratches. I sanded it one more time and extended the small roof because it looked too short. I also glued all rafters and painted them with sky blue and dry brushed with white mixed with some blue. It looks close enough to reference photos for now. We'll work on it later when the whole thing is assembled. I prepped and glued sections of the first floor and entire ground floor printed as one piece. I also modeled and printed all details of intricate mesh of underfloor joists, beams, and pipes. Sanding can be rough here because I will cover it with dirt, but I had to remove stepping layers on angled elements. It will not be viewed too often when displayed on the shelf, but is interesting side of this flying house, so I had to build it. I painted the entire bottom of the house with the base color rocky sand and later let washes of diluted browns do the job. The paint flows into the cavities and creates some random effects. Some joists on reference pictures appear to be different type of wood, so I added wash of mahogany brown. It looks okay for the invisible part of this model, but I add more shading with dry pigments. I use pieces of PLA filament as smaller pipes to hide some screws and decided to omit the electric wires. And I paint all the walls with base colors. This is sand yellow. I will write list of all paints and blog posts on my website in case you would like to replicate it on your project. This is Salmon Rose. I'm not worried about white coming through. It will be dry brushed with brighter shades. I clean some rough edges and scratch some bright spots. Sand yellow base. Pink. A cork brown. Deep sky blue more yellow sand, and pink. I dry brush white combined with base color on all surfaces and add very diluted burnt umber wash, which flows to recessed spaces, creating shadows and first pass of weathering. More fine dry brushing until I am happy with the look. I repeat this process on all walls. It will be the base for later refinement after I merge all the elements and add the details. Windows, they were experimental and caused me some troubles. I needed them to be solid watertight and as thick as walls, but with curtains behind the glass. When I looked at windows on buildings, they were a dark element on the elevation. I wanted to simulate this effect and make the curtains look darker when they were further behind the glass panel. So I designed the windows like small shadow boxes with paper curtains and filled them with resin tinted with black pigment. 
I tested this method on a small sample and went with this idea. Later, I didn't like how the resin raised around the edges and the glass panes were not flat. Filling the middle section did not help much. I had to scrape the perimeter with a knife, sand each panel flat, and later polish it. It took the whole weekend to do that. My next model kit version will be modified and I will use acetate. I've already started redesigning it, so please subscribe for future announcements. I glued them to the model and sealed the joints with epoxy putty. Then I sanded it and painted it with base colors. I also glued both floors and added missing details. Now I see the whole building so I can correct and finish the paint job. I continue the weathering process with natural umber Vallejo pigment. I bought the whole set and finally can use it on a project. I apply it carefully with a small brush and blow off the excess. I choose corners where dust would naturally accumulate. When I finish, I spray everything with matte varnish to seal it in place. Speaking of sealing, this model is watertight because it is built as custom urn for Nancy, lovely lady who asked me to build her ultimate residence in shape of house from movie up. I wanted to make it the best, most complete version model of this iconic building. It will stay with her family for generations, so it was huge responsibility. I am adding more shading with oil paints. The pin wash flows easily and emphasize lines and does not dry quick, so I can correct it easily. I like to apply it after the acrylic paint is varnished as last stage. When it dries, I spray the final clear coat. Here it is, the finished model. I hope you like it and enjoyed this short video. I want to improve my filming skills now, so write me your comments. What did you like and what you did not? Please check my next video about building the kit and baby Kevin. Thank you for watching to the end. I wish to see you on next exciting project.